Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we continue lecture three. The same topic, chapter eight, different patients. So learning outcomes for today. At the end of this topic, students should be able to perform second order differentiation and also find the differentiation of e power of x and e power of fx. So the second order derivative, consider the function y equals to fx. So differentiate y with respect to x, the first derivative of f, that is dy over dx equals to f prime x is obtained. Differentiate dy over dx with respect to x again. So the second derivative of f that is d over dx in the bracket dy over dx equals to d2y over dx squared or equals to f double prime x obtained. So in this table, there are not notation that you should know in this topic for the first derivative and second derivative. Okay, so now we are going to do the first example. So find the first and second order derivative of px equals to negative 2 x power of 4 plus 9 x power of 3 minus 5 x power of 2 plus 7. So the first order means that you have to differentiate first time. Or just once so if we have px equals to negative 2 x power of 4 plus 9 x power of 3 minus 5 x power of 2 plus 7 so p prime or the first derivative so we have to differentiate all these terms so we have negative 2 times 4 we will get negative 8 and then x power will minus with 1 so we got power of 3 plus 9 times 3 we got 27 and then x power of 2 minus 5 times 2 10 x power of 1 since power of 2 minus 1 so equals to 1 and then 7 is a constant. So when we differentiate constant, we'll get 0. So 0, we don't need to write 0. And then this is the first derivative of P. Okay. And then the second derivative of Px. So we have to differentiate again the P prime. So we will get negative 8 times 3. So we got negative 24. And then x power of 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, okay, plus 27 times 2. So we will get 54 and then x power of 2 minus 1, so we got x power of 1. And then negative 10x, when we differentiate, so we get negative 10. So this is second derivative of Px. Okay, and then example 2, so we have y equals to ax squared plus b over x. So the question asks you to show x squared times d2y over dx squared equals to 2y. So now we have y equals to ax squared plus b over x. But because of it is over x, so we bring over x up. So we got negative 1. Okay, now we have to differentiate for the first derivative. So we got dy over dx equals to, a is a constant. So we have to multiply with 2. So we got 2a. And then x power of 2, 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. So 1, when x is power of 1, we don't need to put a power of 1. So it's remain x only. And then here is plus, 
and then the power is negative so when b multiply with negative 1 so you get negative b and then x power of negative 1 minus 1 so it becomes negative 2 so this is the first derivative but for the question ask you to find or to show x squared times d2y over dx squared which is this is the second derivative okay second derivative so means that we have to differentiate twice so again we differentiate this expression so we got d2y over dx squared equals to 2ax when we differentiate we got 2a and then minus b times negative 2 so we got plus 2b then x power of negative 2 minus 1 so we got negative 3 okay so this is d2y over dx squared or we can put back x as a denominator so we got 2a plus 2b over x power of 3 okay now we need to show x squared d2y over dx squared equals to 2y okay now we have this is left hand side and then this is right hand side okay now we have to make sure both side is equals so from left hand side so we have x squared times d2y over dx squared so x squared is remain and then d2y over dx squared is the things that we got here so we put it back to a plus 2b over x cubed so when you multiply or you expand this so you got 2ax squared plus 2b over x right and then when we factorize because of here we got 2y because we want to make it equal so we can factorize 2 bring outside the bracket so we put back ax squared plus b over x where this is equals to y right so the actual y here is ax squared plus b over x so means that it is equals to 2y is that it is shown it is shown as the because so it is, is equals to the right hand side okay 8.3 differentiation of exponential and logarithmic functions differentiation of exponential function so let y equals to e power of x and then we add log this e both sides so it becomes log e y equals to x and then this is we change in that form to logarithmic form and then log base e is equals to ln so it becomes ln y equals to x and then we differentiate both sides with respect to y then it becomes 1 over y equals to dx over dy we know that dy over dx is equals to 1 over dx over dy and then we substitute the x over the y is with y 1 over y. So it becomes y. And then because of y equals to e power of x, then hence if we differentiate e power of x, then we will get e power of x. The chain rule can be used to differentiate exponential function of the form y equals to e power of fx where fx is some function of x so let y equals to e power of u where u is a function then dy over du equals to e power of u and du over dx equals to f prime x using the chain rule 
So dy over dx equals 2 dy over du multiplied with du over dx. So we got e power of u multiplied with f by x. And then we change by e power of u with e power of fx. And then multiply with f by x. So this is the result of distribution of e power of fx. Therefore, when we differentiate e power of fx, or any exponential that power of any function. So it becomes f prime x multiplied with e power of fx. So this, this is called derivative of the power x and the origin multiplied with the original exponential function. So derivative of the exponential function, so this is two formula in the differentiation for the exponential function.